Hi there, Karen Kaneski, Head of School, Beyond Montessori. Welcome to our first ever virtual open house. Uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we've had to cancel our open houses for our prospective families looking for school in the fall. So we're going to try and relay as much information in this video as we do in our normal open houses. So please bear with me. It's a lot of information coming at you fairly rapidly. If there are any emails, please feel free to email me at any time, info at beyondmontessori.com. Again, my name is Karen. Uh, so BMS has been in existence for over 13 years now, and we're looking forward to a bright future going forward. Um, Beyond Montessori was created by Natasha Secord. She created the school as she wanted an alternative institution for her own children to learn and flourish in. And they did just that from toddlerhood through to the elementary years when we did have an elementary program. BMS now is 18 months uh, toddler program through to CASA, which is um, a kindergarten program essentially. So 18 months through six years of age is our age rate year. We are currently located at 17 Welland Avenue um, in the old Memorial School. We've been here for a few years and we really do like it. However, it's a little bit too big for us and uh, our developer has a little um, project he'd like to build on this land. So we are looking for a new location, a smaller location, hopefully in the current neighborhood or outskirts of St. Uh, Catherine's downtown. So um, we will be here for the school year starting in September for sure. But beyond that, we're hoping to have a new smaller location. So stay tuned for some information on that. Um, when you apply to BMS, um, please know the following. Uh, minimum amount of days to attend is two days per week to a maximum of five days. Now these are full days. We do not have a half day program. We do have a extended care program that begins at 730 in the morning if you have that need. Uh, otherwise, um, normal programming uh, begins at 9 for our toddler department and pre casa So from 9 to 9.15 is the drop-off time and class then begins at 9.15. Very, very important to be on time. Dismissal for those two programs is 4 to 4.15. And CASA begins 8.45 to 9, drop-off with class beginning at 9. And dismissal is 3.30 to 3.45. Now, aftercare also begins at 345, and we are here until 530 each night. Now, when you apply for BMS, you will have to let us know what your intentions are for the before and aftercare program, um, just so we can guarantee you space in that program, as it is usually pretty popular. We do follow the DSBN uh, calendar in terms of uh, PD days, holidays, uh, school closures and whatnot. Uh, one PD day, uh, day uh, usually a month. And we are closed two weeks at Christmas. And the last week in August, we are closed for a shutdown as well. We are uh, year round uh, schooling here at BMS. In the summer, rather than camp, we have summer school. So it is an extension of our normal school year, which is primarily attended by our you know, internal students, where they can continue on with um, their schooling and their learning habits uh, throughout the summer. And uh, it is an additional cost to come to the summer school. And we usually have registrations going out in April for that. That is optional. Your child does not have to come to school year round. Um, otherwise, we are uh, a normal school year starting in September through June. Every December, we do do a progress report on your child to give you an update on how they're doing academically and socially. Then they will have a full report card in June um, on their academic performance at BMS. Uh, usually, your child will move on to the next level in the following year based on their own um, need and readiness. So we don't grade the children per se. We follow their lead in true Montessori fashion. If they are showing signs of boredom or maybe they're not grasping something 
um, quite as, as good as we would hope, we will not push them. We will only guide them as best we can and they are the lead here and we will follow it the best we can. Our toddler uh, department is starting at 18 months, so the children must be walking to start in that program. It's rather small. We only have X amount of spaces, and we usually have a wait list. It's very popular, as you can imagine. Um, so we have four teachers in that program, two are ECEs and two are Montessori trained. It's a great combination in a teaching team, so your child gets the best of both worlds. The toddler program is set up um, as a Montessori toddler program should be. Everything is at the child's level and everything is safe. There is no danger in the classrooms and the children are free to move about doing what they choose to do during their morning work cycle. Now the toddlers, after they have their lunch and their outdoor time, they do have a nap time in the classroom where they do have a little snooze on a small cot. We do ask the uh, parents to provide um, a crib sheet and a blanket um, that goes home every Friday to be laundered. Uh, catering. Catering is optional. Uh, if you do choose the catering program, it is $7.50 per day, which will get you a morning snack, usually a hot lunch and an afternoon snack. Otherwise, if you would like to send your child's own lunch, you may do so. You just need to sign off on a catering exempt form. You must label all your children's um, food containers that come in with their name and try to ensure that you have a litterless lunch as best you can trying to keep our uh, trash down and uh, recycle and reuse as best so we can. pre is uh, the next step from toddlers and it is more or less a transition class between the toddler and the kindergarten program. So children that are 2.8 years minimally can start in the CASA program if they are potty trained and if they are um, ready for that step. Otherwise, pre casa is a 2 to 16 ratio with two teachers, ECE and Montessori again. And usually their time in pre casa is not that long, I would say a year maximum. And then they move on to the CASA program where they can be for the next three years until they hit uh, age six. Now, if, to go into CASA, they do need to be fully trained um, and independent in that regard. Now, the Montessori um, curriculum is broken into the five areas of the classroom, arithmetic, language, um, culture, sensorial, and nature or botany, science, and whatnot. We also add on a phys ed, art, music uh, to our curriculum. Um, we bake, cook every month as well as, um, as part of our curriculum as well. Children respond very well to that, and that does include our toddlers. They do make their own little dishes uh, quite often, and they enjoy it. Uh, we bring in community visitors quite often to um, supplement our curriculum. The students always like to see different faces and uniforms and different props and whatnot. So that's always um, an addition to our curriculum. We do go on field trips throughout the year to Pumpkin Patch, uh, the Symphony, um, Pack Center, Ice Dogs, um, Maple Sugar Bush and whatnot. So we like to get out and about as best we can. Um, we're always looking for parent volunteers as well. If you have a specialty that you want to come in and share with your child's class, you're more than welcome. We would love that. Um, security at BMS. So we are locked in at all times. Um, the doors lock behind everyone. Uh, parents do have their code to get into the front door only, uh, as well as teachers. So please know that we are a very safe school like most schools are these days. Our playground out back is also combed every morning when we enter to ensure that it's safe from the night before so there's no glass or um, cigarette butts or whatever, dog um, bags or whatnot. We do make sure that it is a safe environment for your child to be in. Um, what else do I need to um, talk about with you today? Uh, concerts. We have two concerts a year that your child will participate in, a winter concert just before Christmas and a spring concert in May. 
Children uh, do a variety of performances from dancing to singing to songs to acting. It's usually an hour in length. Parents love it. And uh, it's, it's a great event for our school community. Uh, her school community is on the smaller side. Everyone seems to know everyone. We have a lot of referrals here. Uh, parents bring uh, friends and family here. Um, and we really do appreciate that. Uh, we are a strong knit community, very small. We have about 100 children, um, usually year to year, that come to us. And um, it's just a really great environment. I've been here for quite a long time as a teacher. I've been in the head of school position for just over a year now. Uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy the parents and the and the faculty and the children are lovely. And it's just a great environment. And it's such a great stepping stone for children um, in this age range. Uh, children that graduate from our CASA program when they're six years old, they go into public schools generally and they are ahead of the game academically, socially. And we hear great feedback from public schools teachers on our Montessori graduates. And we love to hear that. And we're proud of our alumni. And our alumni always seem to come back to visit. So um, again, it's a small, wonderful community that we're very proud of. Any further questions, please email me, info at beyondmontessori.com. A school tour is sure to come shortly and a classroom tour as well. Great. Have a wonderful day.